And you like completely lived this gimmick. Like you were wearing the headdress out in public, right? Yeah, I had to wear the, the whole get up in public. Um, and and it, it's not really funny, but it, at the time it, it was serious. I mean, we were, what was this, 2004? We were just a few years really removed from um, 9-11. And, yeah. um, and I remember a few instances. One, I remember it was San Francisco. I can't remember the name of the hotel. We, Sean and I were on the path walking from the parking lot to the hotel entrance and a lady was walking towards us and we had the full gimmick on I, you know, and the glasses and, you know, I made my suit and, and 230 pounds at the time. So we looked intimidating. Um, and she took her daughter off the path and walked by us like five wow. feet away. I mean, there's plenty of room for us on that path, but it was the, she was scared. And then one time we were on the plane, Sean and I, and we were sitting towards the front and I think it might've been Shelton. Somebody came up and told us that towards the back of the plane, people were calling their families to tell them that they love them. Oh um, my God. So there were some times where people really were, there were people who were really frightened. And honestly, it made playing the character pretty easy because the things that, that you feel when you're dressed like that and you're out in public and you see how people treat you. And that's how people treated Sean. Um, you know, I've said it before, it became kind of a joke and then it kind of got annoying because it would hold us up. But Sean was randomly searched at, you know, seven out of 10 airports. But feeling that and and, and being exposed to that as a, a non-Arab, you really, it, it was not hard to get into character and feel anger towards Americans um, and, and some outrage at how unfairly people are being treated for things that were out of their control. They had nothing to do with it. And, and these are American citizens who paid taxes, who obeyed the law. So it, that was one of the, the brilliant things about the character is he was right in, in his feeling these unjust attitudes. And it was easy for me to get into it. Well, it's ironic if you listen to your promos, especially now, 15 years later, it's ironic that people are booing you for speaking the truth, like nothing you're saying is actually heelish at all. I think he'd be applauded today. If I went out there and said those things today, I, I think I would get a standing ovation because it it was the truth. I, I mean, it was how people felt in this country. We were reading about it in the news. It was unfair. It was unjust. Arab Americans, Muslim Americans, people were being lumped together as if everybody was a terrorist because they were you know, from that origin, from that nationality. So it, it was the truth. It, it, nothing of what we were saying, I thought, especially at the very beginning, it, the character did start to change. But at the beginning, I think people hated that character so much because he was, he was exposing their prejudice that they, they wanted to deny. That's a really interesting way to put it. Now, what's it like when you're walking through an airport? You are American, yet you're being treated like you're an Arab American. Well, back then, yeah, it was, again, it, it, it was, I don't want to say infuriating. I, I think it was sad. Um, I think that it, it was discouraging. And, you know, I, I'm Italian-American, but my grandparents were immigrants to this country. Um, it was discouraging to think that in the 50 years since my grandparents, or 60 years at the time, had come to this country, we hadn't really changed too much. We hadn't really come really far. We we're now just treating different groups of people the way we treated Italians back then, or the Irish. Um, you know, our country has a pretty long history of xenophobia with any new population that comes in, with any new immigrant population that comes into the country. So I, it was, it was just like I said, it was a little discouraging and it was sad um, to feel that way. I mean, your heat, I feel like, could really boil over into something else. Did you ever get death threats? Not that were brought to my attention. I mean, I, I might have. They, they did. It. People, people were still pretty smart. Um, you know, at that time, people, for the most part, understood that it was a character, and it was a character that they loved to hate. And some people, I probably thought that the character was inappropriate or over the line and they they looked at me as the one delivering that message but i never really got any immediate death threats we had we had one instance where we almost got into it with um, a group of young men i think it was australia who were muslim who were upset at us for playing muslims on tv 
Wow. Um, and that was probably the closest we ever got into it with anybody physically. Uh, and luckily we had all the boys with us. Um, I can't remember exactly what was going on, but we were out, we were out drinking and they took exception to that because Muslims don't drink. Um, mm -hmm. And so they were more upset at a non-Muslim playing a Muslim. I think that was the only time I really felt like I uh, threatened, like there was some direct heat towards me for what I was doing. Did you ever have a moment where someone was getting upset with you and you just had to go, Hey, I'm actually from New York. <laughs> uh, no. Well, maybe I, but nothing, nothing serious. I can't remember how I handled that. I ended up, we ended up talking to the guys. I know that nothing ended violently. We ended up talking to them, um, but no, nothing that I can remember. And, and most people started to figure out that, you know, Capani and, this was, you know, they, they were, there were a lot of smart marks back then and there was the internet. And so people, people knew for the most part um, that I wasn't, but we, we would actually be legitimately nervous, like traveling down South in the middle of the night, you know, Sean and I, because just the, the, the culture and the climate of the country at the time, post nine 11, it, it was, it yeah. was a little, it was a little frightening, you know, being anybody with color um, in certain areas.